Welcome to Shikhan.com. In today's video tutorial class, we will see that in MS Excel how we will do text limitation. We will also learn about text validation just like we have our phone number, digit for invoice and how we will design the numbers in our invoice. We will cover those areas. And many times we see that maximum this number of digits or maximum this much character can be written like 250 words or 100 words that we cannot write more than that we have to be in it. This entire limitation issue, if you go beyond this, you'll get a signal. So today we are going to discuss on this entire topic. Today's video is sponsored by SoftwareKeep.com. SoftwareKeep.com is such a website where you can find all the programs of Microsoft Office. You can get all the paid versions of Microsoft Office in this page. We already have discussed about the paid versions in our earlier video. Unpaid version or the crack files which we run for free we don't get all the features available in them. So for us who use these softwares for our personal use or our office use and want to buy the paid versions, then I would suggest you to use softwarekeep.com for that. From softwarekeep, you can buy the license key of the software you want. Then you can install Microsoft Office or Windows from this page. The most important thing is softwarekeep.com is Microsoft certified vendor. So that's why you can make the payment without any issues and the discounts in the website. On top of that, if you purchase any software from there before 14th of February, you can get more 15% discount, which means that would be on top of the discounts that's already on the page. Details of this is given in the description box in the link. You can visit and see for your required software. You will get all your softwares in a reasonable price. You can also talk with them in the live chat option. If you mention us, you can get more better facilities. So let's start today's class. Let us notice the document on the screen first. We have already said that today we will learn text limitation and also we will learn about data limitation. So what is the use of these two? The use of these two is that if in any of the cells or any of the rows, you want to add any limited text. For example, I have prepared an invoice serial, which is of 10 digits. Also, we can use the example of phone numbers. Many times it's a conflict that many start by giving zero or 88. So in that case, we need a validation that I will not take more than 10 digits here, not even less than that. If we can format the cell in such a way, then it would be really good. So in today's class, we will see how to work with these formats so that we get the required text in our cells. Many a times we see that the limitation is given in the description box like 250 only. So let's learn that how we will give these limitations. So let us start at the beginning. Notice the document first. In the document, we can see that in the name of invoice ID, there is a cell. For example, in the beginning, let me show you a column and over here we take it as invoice ID. So if I take 10 digits here, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, whatever number I gave it, it took it automatically. Now let's notice that when I have placed the number, then this format has got changed automatically. Now we already know that simply to change this, we can go to format and change the format. Then our 11 digits will come on the screen. Reason being by counting general format, it was not taking our 11 digits on the screen. So we have seen in our previous classes that how we will do number formatting in Excel. But today we are not going to discuss about that. Now the 11 digits that we wrote here is not like the invoice that we need. So let's write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and press enter. Now we notice that as we gave from 1 to 9, here we can see that a hyphen has appeared after 2. Then again, after three and five and an ID has been generated. So if we want, we can generate invoice series like this. Like after the first three digits, there will be a hyphen and after that another hyphen. Now for doing this formatting, what we have to do is at first, we are going to select the entire cell, right click on the mouse, then format cell. So step one is to go to the format cell. This means we need to format our cell first. From here, we get an option called special. In special, we can notice that location is given, which is very important. If English United States is not selected here, then we won't be able to find these four options, which means if any other country is selected here, these options won't come. So firstly, we have to see which country is selected here. And if any other location is selected here, we need to change it to United States to do this formatting. So as we select it, 
To check, we can see that if I select any other country, the options won't come here. So, if by default it is not selected, we are going to select United States and we get four formats here. That's zip code, zip code plus four, phone number, social security number. So, now we will select social security number and then press OK. So, after pressing OK, we are going to delete this cell. And after that, if we type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and give enter, then we can see that the number has hyphens in it. So like this, if we give any minus or uh, any hash here and create a format like that in MS Excel, then from format text, sorry, format cell, we can go to formatting and do it like this. In the same way, if we select phone number, in that case, we write here 8801. 9181634491 and enter so we can notice that it has taken till 0191 reason being we have selected the united states this problem has occurred because we pressed united states so if i remove 8 and press enter then the zero has disappeared and only 191 is here which is not for our country our country score is 880 as united states is selected this is not matching so anyways, if you want to make any invoice number or if you want to do any search format like this where you have gaps in the number, so you can do it easily using format cells option. This is number one. The second is uh, if I want in this cell, that is in this cell, our invoice is of 10 digits. Let's say we have 10 digits in our invoice. Let's delete this first. So the serial that we have done for the invoice will be, let's say of 10 digits, just like our phone numbers. So for this, what are we going to do? We are going to first click on the cell, then go to data. Then from here, we are going to go to data validation. So from here, we are going to go to data validation. Now in data validation, there are many options here. We are going to see a few of them in today's video. Here we notice an option allow any value. It means whatever I write in the cell will be a valid entry. So now if we click on the drop down menu here, we can notice many other options have arrived. So in today's class, we will see the option text length. In the next classes, we will learn how to do multiple selections, listing and many others. Let's click on text length now. By clicking text length, we can see one more option appears below saying data between. Between means between two numbers, the number should be close to it. For example, if I press minimum five, and maximum 10. So what comes here? The digits in our cells should be minimum of 5 length and maximum of 10 length, which means it cannot be less than 5 and shouldn't be more than 10. So now if this is our selection and we press OK, and now if I just type 1, 2, 3, 4 and press enter, then we see that an error appears here saying the value doesn't match the data validation restriction defined for this cell. This means the value that I set for the minimum is not considered here. So simply if I give 1 to 5, then the number will appear on the screen. Now why is it coming like this? Because of our format cell. The security number that we had selected, we told there the minimum format should be like this. Otherwise our numbers will not match. So now if I write after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 10. After pressing enter, another error appears. This is because the maximum we had given was 10. So this is the between function. So now we come to this mobile number cell. Let's uh, get back to data validation. So if I want to keep it fixed, then I'll go to text length then equal to, which means the length of our digit should always be 10. It shouldn't be less than 10 or more than 10. Equal to means that it has to be 10 because our mobile number should always have 10 numbers. So the minimum and maximum should always be 10. Let's press OK. Now if I write, if we give one digit less and only give nine digits, then again the error will show. Exactly when I give my full number in this place, one four is missing, so let's press enter now. We can see that our value has appeared. Now why the zero got hidden here? We have seen in the earlier class, this is because of number formatting. So let's go to home now. Now change it from general to text. After that, if I type here zero, then it will appear here. Now we can see that again an error is appearing. This is because 11 digits are on the screen now. Now we normally use 11 digits in our screen. So let's press cancel and then let's again go to data, data validation and let's change it to 11 digits. Then press OK. 
So now if I type 0 in our number, then it will appear on the screen. So today we learned about number limitations. We also learned how to show the 0 before our mobile number from the top. So now after formatting, if I try to add another number in this phone number, then we can see it is not adding up. So this is how by setting data validation, we can work securely. Also, we have set a 250 character limit on address in this cell. We can also set limitations to notes if we have to add notes and it is very problematic in invoices. Sometimes mobile numbers also create some issues. So to block those issues, these methods are necessary. Thank you for being with today's class with Shikhan.com.